Well, hey guys, welcome back. Big T's on a roll here. Two videos in under a week, all right? This one here, we're gonna do a midweek little cook for you, all right? It's gonna use two pots. We're gonna make it simple. It's a fantastic winter's meal. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do slow cooked lamb shanks with Big T's famous mashed potato. So piece of pea, and we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you step by step, sear them off, get them into the slow cooker, let them sit for a few hours, make some mash, dish it up to the family. Let's get into it. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you pretty much all the ingredients. So that's the microphone, guys. Hopefully um, you can hear me a bit better, some of the other shows. It gets a bit uh, bit crappy. So um, lamb shanks, let's just pan down here. I just go to the supermarket. Let's just get four nice lamb shanks like that. Left them out for about an hour before we're cooking. Um, over here, guys, I've just got me a little gas mate cast iron. That's what I'm going to season with salt, pepper, olive oil, and I'm just going to um, pan sear them on that. Um, also, that's going into that pan as well is going to be some diced onion, carrot, um, and what's that stuff there? Um, Where's that stuff? Celery. Jeez, I don't even know what it's called. Um, beef stock as well, and some red wine, which will just deglaze all the um, good flavors off it. Once it's done that, throw that into the slow cooker and we just let it go. So, all right, I'm gonna show you how it's done. It'll take me hopefully at least five, 10 minutes to get this done and we'll be in the slow cooker. So let's get into it. All right, so our first steps, this is what I need you to do. I said, just dice up the celery, carrot and the onion, just in the small little bits like that, okay? So just make sure it's prepared um, for once we do these lamb shanks. So have a look at these guys here. So pretty big. Um, all I'm gonna do now is just lather some olive oil and some salt and pepper over all these, just rub, rub them through. Just flick it over in with your hand. So I'll get these coated, um, salt and pepper, and I'll get this gas mate fired up and we'll um, yeah, just throw them over. Now, maybe wash your hands a little bit and just chuck the pepper on. So I'll get these on, I'll get the gas mate fired up, and then that, that'll be the next time we're showing, showing that. So. so the lamb shanks now, we've just put some oil, salt and pepper on them. So um, pan over here, guys. Um, I've just got that gas mate red hot, ready to go. So let's chuck in our first lamb shank and just get a bit of color on them, yeah? Let's get a bit of color. Oh yeah, bit of sizzle. Bit of olive oil in there. We might just do two at a time. So let's just let them kind of cook away. Bit of color on them and um, yeah, we'll come back once they're uh, browned up and put the veggies on, but get a pan in, Arch, get a pan in, have a look. Beautiful. Pan down here, guys. Let's have a look at these lamb shanks. I'm just sealing them on all sides, so have a look at that beautiful crispiness on there. Um, all I'm going to do now, just follow me over, which is place these. We'll turn that down a little bit. Which is place these in the slow cooker. Big ones on the bottom. Have a look in here. Throw them in. Chuck them in like that. Big one there. Oh, little one. And then another big one here. So let's just let them sit there now. So pan back here. Let's put a little bit more olive oil in there. Now we're just going to do our carrots our onion and our celery. So I'm just gonna kind of tip these in. Here we go, beautiful. So let's get a little bit of browning branding on these these couple there. Um, once these brown off, I'm just gonna tip in some red wine, some beef stock, reduce it down, and then we're just gonna tip that all over the top of our lamb shanks and in the slow cooker. So let's just saute these down. And then, um, yeah, we'll be back once we're tipping it all in with the red wine and the beef stock. So. Now, so we've got our uh, veggies all sautéed down. I've just got like a, a cheap shiraz, all right? So get just get something you can get from the supermarket. I'm just going to put, I don't know, let's we'll just tip it in. and I reckon maybe about, yep, that's enough. Maybe about a cup, a cup of red wine. I've just got some beef stock. Let's just throw that in there as well. Beautiful. Smell that red wine when it goes in. So just going to bring that to a boil, mix it around, and then I'm just going to tip that straight over the top of the lamb shanks. But you can see... Simple, buy your lamb shanks, sear them off, put them in, make a nice flavoring, and then tip it in, let the slow cooker do the rest. So um, we're done and the mash will be done Pretty later. we got our liquids come to the boil. Um, I forgot to add two little ingredients that I like to put in there as well with the beef stock and the red wine. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So adds a bit of flavor. So have a look down here now. All our liquid onions, veggies are coming to the boil. Now, I just want you to take, turn the gas off on your gas mate. And now, let's just transfer this into there. Beautiful, all that, beautiful. All that in, 
I'll try and get all that scrap that in. But now all we're going to do, I'm just going to leave this um, on high for four hours because I don't have time. So lid on, let it go, don't touch it. Um, we'll be back in four hours. So simple as I'll get this lid on and um, cooking. So now, all right, we're not too far off the lamb shanks being done. So Big T is going to tell you and help you how to make his homemade mash. All right, so all I've done, I'll just take that lid off that spitters thing. All I've done there is peel, boil potatoes. All right, you can do that. Didn't need to show you. Now, all we need, big knob of butter. Oh, a little bit of cheese on there. Leave that on there. Just throw that in there. All right, throw it in, throw it in. Let's just kind of let it sit there for a bit. Um, what I'm going to do once I, and what you need to do, right, you don't need really good, people say you need rices, you need all this stuff. All you need is just a masher, right? You've got to mash it, right? That's what's called mashed potato. You don't need to muck around. It's mash, 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 all right? So we've got that. So bit of milk, right? Bit of milk, salt and pepper, and this is the this is it, the American mustard, right? All you need is a little drizzle of that in there as well. It just gives a little bit of a tang, all right? So that's going to be great with the lamb shank. So let's get into it here. So just keep an eye on Big T. I'm just going to kind of mash, mash away. Let that butter... Let it go through. The butter's kind of getting stuck to there. That's good. That's what you want. You want the butter to stick to the, because it's a bit cold. Here we go. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. I'll just keep going. Mash it. Mash it. All right. Let's just give it a bit of a, a, bit of a tickle. All right. Here we go. All right. So that's kind of mashed. All right. Here we go. Next one. Just add a little bit of milk, right? A little bit of milk. Just get a little bit of milk, you know. Milk the cow. Just tip a little bit in there. Just a little bit. Oh, tiny bit. Bang. Give it another quick mash, all right? A little bit of liquid in there. That's it. Make it a little bit creamy. Get that butter. Get that mash. Get it going. All right. Next. Next. What we want. A little bit of American mustard. All right. Here we go. Only a little bit, right? So you just want a couple of... Just to flavor it. That's enough. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's chuck our cheese in here. All right. Cheese, oh, gooey cheese. Right, that goes in. Right, here we go. Salt and pepper, bit of salt, bit of salt. Big look at that. Here we go. Bit of pepper. In there like that. And then all we do now is just get it with a spoon. We can mash it up later. Here we go, just go around. That smells beautiful. And go around. Mix. What you're gonna do, all right? Cheesy, buttery, milky, salt and pepper. All that. Just keep going around. It's like a workout. Look at that. Look how smooth that's got. Look how smooth that has got. Just, just a bit of flavour. All right. So now I'm just gonna let that, let that sit. A little bit more salt and pepper, maybe, to um taste. And then we're going to plate that up, put some uh, lamb shanks on there. So easy, mustard mashed potato, you can do it at home. All right, so we're pretty much nearly finished here, guys. So I'm going to show you, they've been in there for just under four hours now. Um, I'm just going to take the lamb shanks out um, first. I'm going to add a little bit of grey box, right? Just maybe one or two teaspoons of grey box. Chuck that in the liquid. And then I've just got some cornstarch there and some water. So as you can tell, it's just a bit of a liquid there. That's just going to thicken up the liquid. But let's have a look at the lamb shanks and see how they're, um, or how good do they look. So let's take them out. Let's thicken up the, uh, thicken up the sauce. And then uh, pretty much mashed potato, lamb shank, thicken that sauce up over the top. And uh, we're right to eat. All right, we're pretty much done. All right, Big T's put his mustard mashed potato. I've shown you how to do that on the video. Little side of peas. Let's have a look in here. I've put it in that corn flour, that gravy, thicken that up. Now let's just grab one of these lamb shanks here. Look at that. Have a look at that. Let's throw that on top of that. Oh, and a little bit of thickened gravy. Hang on, here we go. And we'll just tip that over the top. So there you go, guys. Lamb shanks, sear them off, put them in the slow cooker. Big T's mashed potato, peas. That is fantastic. So I'm going to tuck into that, feed the family, 
it's done. Big T out.